The concept for this gun started in my gun safe with this Remington Model 7 223. I used to do a fair amount of woodchuck hunting, but this gun hasn't seen much action for many years. So I decided to have it converted to something I would use a lot more. The last couple years I've really come to love the 350 Legend cartridge and had a lot of success with it. While many of the guys gravitate towards the more powerful 450 Bushmaster, I've been intrigued at the potential of the 350 to be more flat shooting. That's where the guys at Bear Creek Ballistics come in. Jeff Shirey and his son Christian have become well known for taking straight walled cartridges and developing high velocity loads for them. But after they mentioned that the next load they were working on was going to be the 350 Legend, I had to have one of their sweet custom guns for myself. Uh, so basically we have the Model 7 action that you brought to us. Uh, we ripped it apart uh, from the original rifle that you brought to us, um, took the action, chucked it up in the lathe, blueprinted it. Uh, so it's all on the common center line of the action, so it's absolutely perfect. Recut the threads, recut the lugs, took the Douglas barrels that we use. Uh, they make tremendous uh, stainless barrels. Turned the Douglas barrel, fit it right to the action, chambered it for the 350 Legend. Took one of our muzzle brakes that we make. Uh, we make it right here in our own shop on our mill, threaded it right to this barrel. Uh, we use the HS Precision Stocks because they're super accurate, very nice, very lightweight. When we bet them, uh, we basically, uh, we put a release agent on the barrel action and then we'll actually put epoxy in the stock once the stock has been free floated to the barrel. And we'll take the action and torque it down in and let the epoxy dry around it. And we'll pop it out, do all the finishing work and then put it back in. And when that happens is the action, barreled action fits the stock perfectly. So every time it recoils, it comes back to the same point so you get tremendous accuracy. I mean, it's holding half MOA all day. Um, it's cloverleaf and holes at 100 yards, and with the high new high velocity ammo, I mean, three, 400 yards isn't out of the question at all. This was the last, basically, sight and target that we did to uh, tune the gun and make sure everything is functioning the way it was opposed to. Uh, the first shot and the clean bore shot dropped a little bit, and then as you, as you can see, everything started moving in and tightening, the, the group tightened up. I pulled that one there, unfortunately lost it. Um, but these are all the numbers, all the velocities that we we're measuring as we were shooting each of the shots. 158 grain, all copper bullet, uh, designed specifically for high performance from the 350 Legend. What we've done with the 350 is made an all copper bullet that will expand at the velocities that are in the sweet spot for how that round is used for most hunting applications. And it, it actually will even carry out beyond what it should be capable of. The mark of any good bullet for hunting is good expansion through a wide range of velocities and full weight retention to ensure good penetration. This is their standard velocity 350 cartridge designed to feed well in an AR style rifle. Shot into ballistics gel at 100 yards, the bullet traveled 20 inches and created a massive wound channel. That's exactly what a well designed bullet should do. Yeah, this is the tedious part that we need to figure out how to go faster on it, but it's almost crucial because uh, yeah. it's uh, uh, quality control at the same time because you're handling each bullet. In every single bullet we make, we handle multiple times, whether it's getting the tip, uh, being coated and tumbled, or being loaded and then packaged. So it's handled almost three times. So quality control is uh, crucial with these. Um, so basically, we turn the ballistic tip here in our shop too. By producing their own bullet design and loading their own cartridges, Bear Creek has been able to push the 350 Legend well past the velocities of stock ammo. Each and every bullet is turned out of their shop here in mid-Michigan and loaded here as well. By handling everything in-house, these guys have been able to produce premium ammunition that performs as well as their guns. My rifle, shooting their high-velocity ammo, is sighted in about 2 inches high at 100 yards. It will hit dead on at 200, and it will only drop 12 inches at 300 yards. But that's all fine to see on a spreadsheet. I was excited to take the new gun afield and test out their new prototype ammo. Let's just say it did not disappoint.
tried to sneak up on him, but right behind us, it's all open. And there's a few deer up in here that we didn't see, and they saw us. And they ran back here and spooked all the deer off the field. And we just got up in the stand, all set up. And I was going out to see where I could shoot to practice. And as I looked through the scope, I pointed right at a deer. So now we got a doe moving in. And if it's a big doe, I'm going to shoot her. Reed and I could see the deer making their way out to the field. We just had to be patient. Soon we would see a big doe moving towards the edge of the field into a spot where Reed had an open shot. She made it up the hill. I'm pretty sure I drained her. I think you did too. I think so. That looked really good. Yeah, it did. That was cool. That was really cool. Very quick hunt too. <laughs> I looked through the scope and there's a deer right in the scope. So he gets the camera out and we're watching these deer. We watched these deer for quite a while. And we just slowly making their way through and then one came out of the field and the other kind of followed that, followed that one out and the first one was a button buck so we couldn't shoot that one and she stood right on the edge of the field and just stood there and stood there and I've got up on the gun and I think I smoked her. It looked good. It did. Yeah, she was struggling going up that hill. She was. I can see your belt, you were laying right up there on that hill. I was following a different deer. I was too. I was too. Well, Reed just made a fantastic shot on that doe. A um, little over 150. Um, that's well within the range of this gun. Um, this gun's probably about a 300 yard gun. I can see some more deer moving through here. Actually, one's coming up right now. I can see across the creek. And over there, we've got a little bit more distance. We've got about 180 to 200. So we're hoping that a deer comes up here and maybe I can double up with Reed. Um, but I can see a doe coming up right now. So maybe maybe we'll get some more does coming out here or out in this hay field. There's a lot of does in this hay field right now. So we got some snow coming in tonight and they're just piling in here trying to get some food before, before the snow hits. But Reed's is dead right up there. We can see it. So we're not going to go after it right now. We're going to wait until after dark because there's some hunters back there and we don't want to mess them up at all. But that doe only made it 60 yards, 70 yards at the max, and she was struggling to get that far. So let's see if we can double up. behind the tree right there she's good meh meh ready here we go meh meh hey ready that's how you do it doubled up with Reed, my son. He's behind the camera now. Man, that was awesome. She stepped right out. She's probably she's probably at about 150. Reed shot his at about 150, 170 in this corner. She come out right over there and I shot her about the same. So uh, 
that was awesome. This new gun, I love it. This is my second deer with it. This is the third deer overall. This thing is a shooter. Man, I love it. It really does the trick. We got two dead does right now, and, uh, and I'm sure we could have more if we just waited, but that was awesome. That was cool. She's all unloaded. Man, that is a big, big doe. Look at the size of her. She is huge. Man. Man. That's the third deer we've taken with this new Bear Creek Ballistics uh, rifle. This is a 350 Legend. I had a Model 7 223, so we put a Douglas barrel on this. Um, the polish knob did all the work on the bolt. It's an HS Precision stock. Trigger Tech Trigger. This thing, it flat out shoots. I'll tell you what, this has become my favorite gun to take out for doe hunting. And we're shooting some new prototype ammo. It is flat shooting. I mean, we're way back there, about 150 yards away. And that's well within the range. These things are shooting, I'm, I'm shooting about two and a half inches high at 100 yards, which puts it dead on at 200 and about 12 inches low at 300 yards with the 350 Legend shooting this prototype ammo. Um, I think it'll do. I mean, you ought to see the blood right here. And we watched reeds fall already, so we know that that one went right down. And we shot one earlier, it went about 40, 50 yards at the max. Great blood trail. So we have been really happy with this new gun and this new ammo. And take a look at that doe. She is bleeding like crazy. That is cool. I'd say the new rifle is definitely a shooter. Special thanks to Jeff and Christian for building a great gun and ammunition to get the most out of it. This is a gun we'll be using for years to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my daddy's channel.